How did you get a high school bully to never mess with you again? A group of sociopaths from my school that always tormented us followed me and my friends to my house one day in a pickup truck. They stole my friend's shoes, pushed one of them until she fell, and took my sketch pad and threw it into a puddle. My stepbrother came outside, beat one of them badly, stole his pants, and threw his keys into a sewer grate before hitting him with an empty vodka bottle. It was traumatizing for me on both ends, but that group of kids never even looked at us again. She would call me fat, and ugly every day. She also would tell me I was trash because I was adopted. Your own mother thought you were so ugly she didn't want you. One day she told me that my face made her want to kill herself. So I told the school counselor that she had confided in me she wanted to kill herself. She had to explain to everyone what she really said. A bully was harassing my daughter on the bus. Instead of calling his folks, or jumping on him, I did this. I pulled him aside at the bus stop one day and asked for his help. Hey Danny. I was hoping you could help me out. I guess there's a kid on the bus who is picking on my daughter. She's a girl and small and I'd like for you to help protect her. If you see anything like that, could you stick up for her please and let me know about it. That was the end of the bullying. One time in elementary school two kids who liked to bully other kids took my lunchbox and started playing monkey in the middle with it. I played along for a minute, running back and forth, but it just kept going. So I looked at the kid who currently had my lunchbox and said you. Give it back, or I'm going to come after just you. If you throw it to the other kid, I'm not going to chase after my lunchbox, I'm just going to tackle you with everything I have. Both kids laughed. I walked over to get my lunchbox and he threw it to the other kid. So I started sprinting at the kid who threw it, like I said I would. He tried to run away while yelling, I don't have it. But I tackled him to the ground which knocked the wind out him. After I stood up, I looked at the other kid who had my lunchbox. He just walked over, gave it back, and said sorry. It wasn't high school, but it was summer camp and I was about 8 or 9 years old. This slightly older kid was always a huge bully, just total douchebag for nothing. I went home and told my dad about it and he said, next time he does something, punch him by the face. And if you do, I'll take you to a baseball game. Next day at camp I was minding my own business on the four square line, he came up and said something and I punched him right in the face. He was shocked, never said one bad thing to me ever again, and let me cut him in the four square line on my next turn. It was actually a great life lesson on how to stand up for yourself. I didn't start going around picking on kids or needlessly beating people up, but I was never bullied again. And yes, my dad took me to a ball game. I kicked him hard in the balls in the middle of history class sophomore year. He had all of the guys in our grade moo at me in the hallway when we'd change classes. I put up with it for a week until I snapped and started beating the shit out of him with my history book. Got him up against the wall and kicked him as hard as I could. Legit don't remember kicking him, but I remember my foot was sweaty which is what snapped me out of it. The teacher made us both go in the hallway and explain what happened so I told him everything. Surprisingly I never got in trouble. The next year I had to sit behind him in homeroom, and one day he just randomly turned around and apologized. I apologized for kicking him and he said he totally deserved it. Senior year I made everybody in the class Christmas ornaments with all our names on them and he got all teared up when he got his. So, not a bad ending. Middle school. The bully challenged me to a fight after school. I told him to meet me on the soccer field which happened to be visible from where my bus home would park. I made sure to get out of school as quickly as possible and sat on the bus so I could clearly see the field. As I expected, he never showed up. The next day at school I announced loudly so several classmates could hear, Jason, you never showed up for our fight. I waited there after school and you never showed up. You are a chicken. That was the end of the bullying. Started rugby in grade 10. Stood up to him in grade 11 and he got mad and he tried to kick me. I was almost 6 foot by then but always tall and weak, well training for rugby sort of fixed that a little so when he kicked me I caught his foot and I didn't let it go until it was above my head. He fell backwards and landed on the back of his head. He never talked to me again. I grew up in a rough area. Fortunately I was attending the same school as my older brothers who would look out for me. For a while I had been targeted and picked on by a particular individual, and his entourage would cackle like hyenas every time he pulled my tie, kicked my shin or shoved me. I had no idea who these bullies were, but I was a geeky kid so I can only assume he'd seen me as an easy target. So, after relentless bump-ins with this guy,
He took things too far and shoved me down a long flight of stairs at the school. I was only a little hurt but pretty shook up, as I heard the echoes of his friends laughing and walking down the hallway. I immediately went to find my brother and ask him if he could beat up my bully. My brother walked around school with me trying to find where this guy would hang out at lunch. Once we found him my brother said to me, you go and beat him up. I was pretty taken aback because I thought he'd agree to fight him for me, as I was a geeky kid. I started to back out. When my brother said, fine let him bully you. Suddenly I was back in. But I didn't know how to fight. I've got your back don't worry, my brother said trying to reassure me. So I walk up to the guy and just start hitting and I hit him a lot. The next thing I know he's on all fours, and the adrenaline is running through me. I'm expecting his group to retaliate and beat the shit out of me. I'm slowly starting to think this was a terrible idea, but they don't. They're just shocked. Completely stunned. So the adrenaline is just pumping and all I can think to blurt out is, kiss my shoe. Now, in my head I'm thinking this is some movie level all eyes on me moment and I'm killing it. My bully on the floor looks up and says, what? I replied kiss my damn shoe, again thinking I'm a gangster. And he does. He kisses me shoe and I beeline it towards my brother. As we're walking away together my brother was incredibly proud of me for sticking up for myself but leans in and says, you really got to work on your shit talk though, why the hell did you make him kiss your shoe? Besides the incredibly cringe shit talk they never bothered me again. Although I did get shit from other bullies. My sister got bullied at school. One day she'd had enough and while the bully was right in her face being awful my sister reached out, grabbed her by the shirt and yanked her into her primed forehead. Bully got a broken nose, blood everywhere, talk of the school. She didn't get bullied anymore after that. I've already talked to my son about the power of a headbutt. I hope he never needs it but you never know. After years of mental and sometimes physical abuse from this girl and her followers I was depressed, angry and occasionally suicidal. She and her group were torturous to quite a few kids. I wanted her to stop. I stole a pen that was a novelty pen from her that she loved showing off specially made and had her name on it. Also stole a small sparkly journal from her backpack as well. I made sure to steal some of her homework from the trash cans occasionally. She had some writing in it. General teen girl stuff and things about how stupid she thought some people were and how easy it was to make fun of them. I practiced her handwriting for a bit then I wrote down a pretend kill list, with my own name at the top, plans of how each one could be done, little confessions about hurting animals, generally screwed up things. I read a lot as a kid and got some good motivation from many of my books. Then I wiped the cover and pen off and tucked the pen into the spiral binding and left it in the basket under her desk for the teacher to find. Let's just say the school didn't believe her when she said she didn't write those things. She got expelled which made me feel warm and fuzzy. Played the crazy card. My cousin started dating the bully's sister and I guess he didn't like that. So he came after me. It escalated more and more to the point we nearly threw down in the middle of class one day, but the teacher stopped us. She made me stay after class and talked me down, saying she knew he instigated it and I wasn't the problem, but she couldn't have this exploding in her class again. Which I felt was fair of her. A couple days later as I was getting stuff at my locker, he was standing behind me when I turned around and slapped my books out of my hand and said, let's go. I rolled my eyes at him, held up a finger and said, just a second. I then turned around and started hitting my head against my locker. The great thing about an empty steel locker is that you don't have to hit it very hard for it to make a big sound. So while I was really not hitting it that hard, to him, it looked and sounded like I was just wailing on it. After a few of those, I spun around and screamed at him to come at me. His eyes went wide and he just backed away slowly in front of everyone in the hallway. And never messed with me again. A friend of mine was being bullied at school decades ago, and after a few days of it, he stood up to the bully and said, listen, if you keep doing this, we're gonna fight. And you may beat me, but we're gonna fight again, and again, and you're going to have to fight me every day until you leave me alone. The kid left him alone. I had a bully who messed with me literally every day and made my life hell for over a year. It was documented, but school staff never acted. Had enough of getting picked on so one day decided I wasn't going to put up with it. He came up behind me and slammed my face into my locker. So I turned around and hit him. Did not stop hitting him until he was unconscious. The track coach asked me why. I said, I had to handle the problem because you refused to. I got banned from after school sports, but nobody ever gave me a hard time for the remainder of high school. 
I told him that if he ever talked to me again I would stab him in the eye. It worked. He never talked to me ever again, even when I ran into him at Walmart eight years later with my wife and son. We locked eyes for a second and he immediately looked away and walked off in the other direction. I was in fourth grade and had just moved to a new school. I was being bullied by another kid on my bus for being the new kid. Looking back, he may have been just trying to look tough in front of his friends. One day as we were boarding the bus after school, he started it again, shoving and name calling, I think. I'd had enough, so I turned around and punched him right in the nose. I don't think I hit him hard enough to cause a nosebleed, but it was enough to hurt. I remember that his nose felt squishy, anyway. He looked shocked. I probably also looked shocked. I regained my composure faster and told him not to do it again. He tried to act tough and said some things, but that was the last time he ever bothered me. Challenged him to a fight. I didn't think it would happen. He showed, and it was only after he landed a couple of punches did I get pissed off and started really fighting. Punched him in the face, and he got mad because he thought I damaged his braces. Cop showed up. Took me home. My parents not only told me they were proud of me for standing up for myself, but they told the other kids' parents to pound sand when they called about the braces. Broke his skull. It was completely by accident, it was 6th grade, I was outside the bathroom and the bully decided to push me around, literally, he pushed me down and just laughed at me while I was on the floor. At that moment I decided enough was enough so I got up, pinned him against the wall and started threatening him if he didn't leave me alone. He then dared me to do something about it. So I did. I punched him as hard as I could. His head bounced back directly into the tile wall and the impact cracked his skull. I still vividly remember the pool of blood when he fell to the top ground. He survived but he nor any of his friends ever messed with me again.